I hope it is better now. We had problems here with the internet. Uh, let me check quickly. All right, I think we are back. Aren't we? Yeah, I think we are back. Everything is looking good. All right, so I don't know what you did miss because it looks like that we had some internet problems. But basically, uh, we are not not out of the woods yet. We still need to break this resistance that is coming from this old ascending uh, broadening wedge here. So as soon as we can we can close four hour candles above 50k, uh, we should be good to go here towards 52,000, and then most likely also break this resistance and retest here this previous resistance trend line here currently at around $56,000 to then hopefully create a support above 52,000 and then move on towards higher levels. So this is basically everything that I told you before the stream got some problems here and um, yeah the other bullish thing is that the RSI now is trading above the 50 level which of course is bullish and also we had now this four hour close above the 20 moving average so this candle should also close now above the 20 moving average in order to confirm that this is new support and then we're good to go to test and fight here this resistance that we have at 50k and um, here once we had this buy signal in the three hour time frame um, we had then of course this rejection here because if you uh, traded this or if you would have gone into the 15 minute time frame that you can also see in my uh, live stream uh, here in uh, discord i think also here we have some problem no everything is working so once we are getting here this buy signal you switch over to the 15 minute time frame to get a good entry and here once we had here this buy signal we were in overbought conditions so or right up here so when you see that you want to wait for the 15 minute to cool uh, down here and as soon as we are getting a good uh, buy signal here below the zero level uh, then it's good to go long so if you longed all the way here at around uh, 47 to 48 thousand dollar like i did as well uh, i actually scaled in uh, on the way here to the downside until we had here this uh, buy signal and like this i got an entry price of 48 thousand uh, dollar i'm always going without leverage and uh, yeah like this you could have uh, getting a very good entry with this uh, trade so only because here we are getting a buy signal in the three hour time frame that doesn't mean that you just should go market in just wait till the 15 minute uh, is giving also buy signal so then you will get a good entry and of course usually we want to be in an uptrend here in the ema ribbon so it was a bit risky but it looks like that we we could have now the chance here to reverse back into an uptrend and then of course uh, we can do a very profitable uh, trade here and um yeah, and of course the daily time frame is still giving this sell signal. It's not yet confirmed. And I think if we are able to push above 50K, this will also disappear. Uh, so let's hope that um, it will not stay until tomorrow, the sell signal in the daily. But anyway, it is not a good sell signal. I mean, uh, we want to have those signals uh, up here, uh, at least between these two lines or maybe even better above uh, these two overbought lines in order to have a successful trade. And the same goes also for buy signals. We want to have them as soon as possible here in oversold condition between these two lines. But since we are still in an uptrend and trading above the 50 level here in the RSI, um, I think also this buy signal is valid and we should be moving on towards the upside pretty soon. The only problem, as I told you, my friends, is still the DXY. But uh, the funny thing is that we had um, here in the Bitcoin price a buy signal in the three hour time frame. And if we switch over into the DXY, you can see that we had here exactly the opposite. We got here a sell signal. Um, money flow is still positive here. So that doesn't mean that the DXY now is going down to zero. So that could be just a short lift uh, dump here in the DXY and of course also short lift the uh, pump in the Bitcoin price at least for now. But this is like um, um, the best way how to understand how these uh, signals are working, especially if you're trading here in the three hour time frames, like in the lower time frames. And like this, you should be also be able to do successful uh, trades in the future. And yeah, basically, that is what is going on right now. As expected, DXY is taking a little dive here. And um, yeah, 
Bitcoin is pumping, of course. And there was another thing I wanted to show you. I'm not sure if I can find it again. Well, yes, here in the daily time frame, we are still below the 20 daily moving average right here at $50,000. That's why I told you that this is still um, a bit dangerous to get rejected here at 50K. That's why we are not completely out of, out of the woods yet. But uh, in my opinion, this is still looking like um, that we could, could form here something similar like we also did here in the last uh, correction that we're bouncing here. Um, at the 50 daily moving average get resistance here at the 20 daily until then we're gonna close a, a daily candle above the 20 daily confirm it as a new support and then move on towards an explosive move to the upside and with this next potential explosive move to, to the upside we could even reach um 75 to 100k in my opinion very very soon even though the month of march usually is bearish and the dxy is pumping i still think we we have a chance to go up there and um yeah basically that's that's the way how you should trade if you're trading with my own indicator or in general if you're trading uh, with your own ta and own indicators uh, over on Bybit or Femex. If you need an account over here, make sure to use uh, my refer links that you find in the video description. They're all down here. Um, yeah, all of my uh, Twitch channel, of course. And uh, we are now live on Twitch. So everyone that is that missed this uh, live stream, join me on Twitch. Hopefully we can do more of these live streams in the future. I still cannot do uh, live streams on YouTube because I still have these uh, warnings that are appearing and these strikes once I am starting to talk about Bitcoin in the live streams I or, or, uh, immediately get like a warning or a strike from YouTube. We still have this problem going on. That's why I don't want to risk that. Um, that's why I'm doing the live streams only on, on Twitch and the regular videos on YouTube. So make sure to join me um, with my regular videos here on YouTube. And another thing that I wanted to show you is that, um, yeah, basically it's always a good thing if you're not using uh, too much leverage here on uh, Bybit or Femex when we are in these stages when we don't know really if we are out of the woods yet or not because even with a 10x or 15x you will get liquidated very quickly uh, and you cannot take here a drop from 50k down to 30k you will get it instantly stopped out or liquidated or whatever it's almost impossible to keep a trade alive but if you go with low leverage, for example, this one I opened uh, up with uh, no leverage, 1x, you see liquidation price 25. And you could you can put also a trade right above liquidation price just to be sure that if we're going to have a flash crash down to 20k, for example, that you're not getting liquidated. You, you, your all order will be executed uh, right before liquidation. And like this, your liquidation price is going down, for example, to 15,000 or something like that. I can show you here if I would now open up a trade at $25,000, let's say with the half of my position, $2,000, and I go long, uh, you can see that my liquidation price would come from $24,000 down to $18,400. And if I would put more into this trade, let's say all the $4,000, it, it would even come down to $16,500. So you can see that like this, you can trade quite safe. And if you don't have enough money to do trades without leverage, once you are in a profitable trade and your entry price is far away from the actual price, right now it's still a bit too early, but I just want to show you the idea behind these uh, kind of trades. Because if you now secure your trade, let's say we put a stop loss here at $48,500. If the price is coming back down, I will get stopped out here in a profit. So I cannot get liquidated. I don't need any kind of order here at my liquidation price. Um, before I move on, let me quickly check that the stream is uh, ongoing. I hope so. Uh, yeah, quality should be good. All right. So we have opened it up with 4,000 quantity and my margin is $4,000. Um, Profits 
So if I'm in a profitable trade and I want to increase my position but I don't have any more money here or I don't want to use more um, of my balance, um, I can do this once I secure the trade. So I have to put a stop loss in profits because like this you cannot get liquidated. And now we can go here. This is for Bybit. On Femex it's somewhere else but this is for Bybit. You go here, you change from um, 1x for example to 10x. Yes, confirm. Then you can see that my quantity is still the same, but my position margin switched from four thousand to four hundred dollar, so ten x less. And you can see my percentage in gains is now more ten x more, but the gains are the same. This doesn't change anything on your um, gains; it will stay the same. But like this, I have now three thousand six hundred dollar the difference back in my balance. So that means that I can add into my position on the way to the upside. So if we are starting to pump and pump and pump, I can always add always uh, here 1000 or 4000 more, always uh, increase my position here with this 10x leverage. And when I put here 1000, um, if I put here 1000, it will, it will only cost me $100 because I'm 10x and now and not anymore 1x. So I need less money to add into my uh, position. So even if you would have only this 4,000, now you can add more into your position because you took out the margin. And if it's not enough, uh, you can also do a 100x. Yes, it's not a problem, you see. 100x from $4,000 that I opened up the trade, I have now only $40 invested with 100x leverage. 200% gains, um, invested money $40 and the profits 200%. And yeah, I got all the money back in my balance. No more risk, basically. I can only lose this $44, but I cannot lose it because I have a stop loss uh, here in uh, profits. And the same thing goes, uh, of course, when you increase your position, your entry price will also rise up. So you also have to rise up your stop loss then. Uh, this is uh, of, of this is what you should do when, once you're increasing your position. Otherwise, you just have to let it run. And the same thing goes if, for example, I say no, um, I don't want to get uh, stopped out here. I don't want to use a stop loss here. I think it's gonna go way higher. I just have to wait, but I don't want to keep here this 100x leverage open. I just go here and change it back into 1x. And then my $4,000 are back in here. My uh, percentage is here back to 2%. And uh, now I can also remove the, um, the stop loss here because I think we will go, uh, or go higher. Um, like this, uh, you have back your liquidation price down to $24,000. Because if you do 100x, your liquidation price will be like at uh, 47900 something like this. So the price just have to move 1% down and your, your money is gone. That's why this is a, a, a safe way to trade. But of course, you need the money in your balance here. So you cannot open up here a $1 million trade without having $1 million here in Bybit. So that's why there are traders that, for example, just put $100 in Bybit, but they want to have a $1,000 trade. So then they go 10x. And in my opinion, that is very risky and like this, um, if it goes the wrong way, you will always lose money because you have, a, have to put a stop loss. Uh, but at the end, other hand, you can trade with uh, less money, bigger trades and bigger amounts. But since I like to trade the safe way and like this, even if the price drops to 30k, I still can go easily down to sleep. Tomorrow I wake up, I see my order at 25 got executed. St uh, next liquidation price 16,000. So I have enough time to add more into my position or keep alive the trade. So once we are back in an uptrend, um, I can take profits and my um, position will be huge if we are, for example, crashing down, but probably it's not the case yet. This is just I want to show you um, how usually I trade here on the Bybit, on the safe way, when I want to do riskier trades. And of course, I also sometimes go straight in with leverage. If I see the price like uh, starting to close um, 
for our candles for example above um, the Bollinger Bands then I go for example with a 10x leverage mark it in and ride it to the upside but when we're trading sideways here I prefer to trade like this uh, because even if the price is going sideways I can just add more into my position if I'm going into negative and then once we're having another bounce or a breakout to the upside I will see in huge profits so yeah that's it for now my friends um, if you longed here make sure to put a stop loss um, we most likely are going to fight here the 50k area if we are able to close four hour candles above we should be good to go even maybe to go up here towards a resistance of 56,000 and also break this resistance that we had previously here especially if the DXY continues to fall and since uh, we are entering the weekend now it is uh, possible that as soon as the DXY is stopping to trade that Bitcoin is again at its own that we just gonna pump during the weekend that is possible in my opinion very very likely but let's see we're gonna do tomorrow another another update yeah so I think we're gonna wrap it up my friends if you want to leave me any kind of comment you can do it now here on Twitch or if you have any kind of questions in regards to this trade but um, yeah, big shout out to our great crypto trading chat here. And um, yeah, I'm live crypto suit. I'm live here on Twitch. Uh, you should get a Twitch account, my friend. Maybe we're gonna do more often such uh, live streams, but um, 46,000 maybe. Um, I mean, yeah, it is no 46, maybe not. If we get rejected here at 50k, most likely, yeah, we could maybe even come down again to retest this new support trend line here, and then we can enter another long position if we are getting stopped out here, because in the fi here in the 15 minutes. Um, you can see we already tested it as a support we are coming back above the 200 moving average in the 15 minute and yeah the only thing we need to do is here to fight the 50k area then hopefully break above and i think before we're gonna do that we most likely are getting here a sell signal in the 15 minute time frame so that could mean that maybe the rsi is cooling off down to the 50 level and uh, we may be are coming down to retest here these 48,800 maybe even these uh, $48,400 if you want to open a long position you're not too late I think we still are coming down here to maybe have another retest of this $48,000 that's why I maybe maybe gonna put a stop loss let's see as soon as we are getting a confirmed sell signal here um, to then re-enter of course once we're getting another buy signal in the 15 minute uh, time frame because we maybe even could come down here towards uh, yeah 47 5 to 48 and then I'm gonna look for new entries as soon as we're getting another buy signal in the 15 minute because yeah this looks a bit exhausted here but in general this movie shouldn't be over yet we are just starting and hopefully when we wake up tomorrow we will be above 50k Oh, let me see the chat yeah so I have the proof that the chat is working because uh, previously we had an interruption with the stream this video will be also uploaded on YouTube later I'm sorry my friends I'm uh, I'm recording with my notebook so I have only one little screen um, any chance of hitting 47k again uh, yes there is a high chance if you're trading uh, on uh, Discord with my indicator, then just wait here for the 15 minute time frame to cool off here because it looks like we're getting a, a nice sell signal and that's why I'm most likely also gonna lock in here some profits and then look for another entry. Once we're getting um, another buy signal, another buy signal um, in the 15 minute. Uh, if we pull out the EMA ribbons, you can see that here we are back in an uptrend and the bottom is right here at our uh, support 
48,100. But if we're starting to test, maybe we come back down here, move along here, 48, maybe even 47, it is possible. And then as soon as we're getting another buy signal, we should be good to go long again. But um, let me quickly check. I think this is too high. Let's go down a bit here at 500. Just uh, below the 200 moving average here, that should be fine. So hopefully we are not getting stopped out. And if so, we're just going to open up a new position um, somewhere down here at 48. But yeah, it is possible that we're going to go seven to 47 again. But if we are getting rejected, we anyway are going back down to those levels here at 50k. Because if we are getting rejected, we most likely are going to um, drop all the way down, maybe along this uh, trend line here, all the way down to 44, 45 during the weekend, maybe. But so far, the move is looking good and healthy. So we should be gearing up here towards 50k and higher. This is the only resistance that we have here. I think if we break this, all the 52,000 will be broken, most likely. We go then straight up here to 56. Mm. Thank you, Shaft06. Alice, will you upload you? Yeah, yeah, I will upload this to YouTube. Uh, first, I didn't want to. I just wanted to do a live stream. Uh, yeah, with some talking and stuff. And yeah, but I decided to do a, like a little uh, tutorial here how to use uh, the indicator because some people also ask to do some tutorial videos, but it takes a lot of time at the moment. And uh, yeah, I w in the future, I will do some, but I. When someone is getting access to my indicator, I'm always uh, sending out the um, documentation, how it's uh, working. Because like this, uh, you know how to use it. Yeah. So I will upload this to YouTube, yes. Uh, how do we get the ADC Phoenix? In yeah, the Phoenix Force indicator. Um, you have to contact me over on Discord, my friends, uh, my friend, because... Um, um, I have to keep alive this stream, so there is a computer running 24-7 uh, with this stream over on Discord. And to pay the electricity costs and everything, uh, there is a little donation to be done. You can contact me here directly on uh, Discord. When you enter the chat, just uh, right-click uh, my name here. And then you can send me a private message. Because, yeah, only with this little donation you can get access to support the stream and the channel, of course. And uh, it's always, even if you are like trading with your own indicators or your own TA, it's good to have it. I also use it a lot because, of course, I have it also in my uh, trading view, but like this here, you can pop out, pop out the window. So you see, you have a separate window then. And for example, you can put it. Uh, to your um, you can put it to your um, how to say if you have like two screen two screens you can put this window in like in the second screen or somewhere in your desktop and then you can um, use your Bybit or trading view next to this window so it's quite useful this is what I am doing usually so I don't have always to switch here the time frames I have one window, I can give, a, give it a look, and then I know always what is going on here. So it's very useful. And this you can do all with the Discord here. So you have to contact me over there, and if you need a Discord link, I will put it now here in the, in the live stream chat. This is the link to Discord. But you find all my links also in the YouTube video description. Just search me, Alessandro the Crypto here. And in, in every video in the video description, you find the same links and yeah, to all my channels and all my recommended exchanges. And the first time on Twitch with you. Good uh, content updates. Thank you very much, uh, Chip88. Uh, hopefully, we're going to do more such um, Twitch streams in the future. Uh, honestly, I completely forgot about uh, Twitch. <laughs> uh, in the early days, uh, we were um, doing a lot of live streams, especially giveaways. We were doing a lot of giveaways when the price was like five, six, uh, five to eight, nine thousand um, dollars. Mostly in 2018, 2019, we did a lot of Twitch live streams. 
and we did a lot of uh, giveaways there 10 to 50 dollars every week now it's worth way more <laughs> probably almost 500 dollars per giveaway or something like that but they most of them they were sponsored also by btr so yeah thank you very much uh musiciano um thank you for your support if you are getting the access otherwise you're just welcome to join our free discord trading chat and uh yes it will be good to have it on youtube because you touch some points that are relevant to the indicator thanks for the awesome work bro thank you very much uh i'll go by Efe. and uh, yeah i will put it there and most likely i will tell the people to watch this video if they have like questions when they're not sure how to trade because some things are important it's all written also in the documentation that i'm sending out but sometimes it's just better to see it uh, in um in a video because like that you can um, understand it better but at the end you always learn by doing so even though you see the video or read the documentation at the end the most important thing is always um, learning by doing and if you're new into trading always start with a small capital or if you're trading on leverage always go with low leverage maximum two or three x not more at least at the beginning all right my friends uh hey acd uh what if you don't know absolutely anything about trading bitcoin uh, can you teach or learn from your paid discord no, no no my discord is not paid discord is completely for free is open source everyone has access completely for free you can just join it only the indicator live stream here to keep alive here this uh, computer running 24 7 and of course uh, also for our future updates and so on um, you can donate to get access to it and this is actually the only thing you need to, in order to be able to trade bitcoin especially if you are a beginner but if you are a beginner it's better if you just watch as much um, trading videos as, as possible you can watch my daily videos every day then you should be also learning how to trade and so on i think that's enough learning by doing is always the best and of course read a lot watch a lot of videos and so on um yeah the best is always if you try it yourself just put like ten dollars there and try it out and uh, if you you can also go back in time for example you can watch my older videos that i did for example starting from two months ago and you watch one by one because like this you will learn the most if you watch these videos otherwise you have to read everything in the internet you have to google everything or otherwise just um, watch every day the newest video and time by time you will learn it and uh, of course the indicator is also helping a lot but you need also to understand base like basic um, uh, ta and this usually you learn when you read uh, or watch uh, youtube videos um, especially in the crypto space all right my friends i think i'm gonna wrap it up for now it was a great stream thank you again very much to everyone that joined it uh there are plenty of books i would just uh, uh google it I, I would just google it there are so many i cannot tell you exactly now the names of the books but there are many um, you choose one that you like and you start with it but as i told you everything you find also if you just google it uh, for example trading basics or whatever and of course watching videos because especially in the crypto space um, bitcoin likes to trade with um, like rising wedges falling wedges ascending uh, descending broadening wedges and so on and usually bitcoins or also other coins in the crypto space um they like to repeat patterns and that's why it is sometimes easy to trade especially when we are in a bull market or in a bear market um yeah but as i told you the best is always uh, if you learn by doing all right my friends thank you again very much uh, for watching thank you cheap 88 yes you're very welcome to join our free uh, discord trading chat and um yeah before i'm gonna complete destroy here the stream uh let me quickly check everything is okay yeah 
I'm gonna wrap it up. I put it on YouTube, everyone can watch the replay. And happy trading. I hope this video helped you. It was an update and I hope to bring more of these live streams in the future. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get the time. And I have to do it here on Twitch. So make sure that you subscribe uh, on YouTube to my daily, uh, daily TA videos here. And of course, also to my Twitch channel for the live streams. You find all the links down below here. All right, my friends. Good night. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. We're going to see us all in the next one. Don't forget, always hit the like button and subscribe. Smash always that button. Very important that you smash it. It helps a lot to the algorithm. If YouTube, it helps me, it helps you. Because like this, crypto channels will get more popular in the future. And I think they are very, very important for this new era that we are entering. So thank you very much for watching, my friends. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.